A special memorial service was held at the All Saints Cathedral to celebrate the life and times of Queen Elizabeth II. Speakers praised the Queen's firm Christian faith and turning to the teachings of the Bible during difficult times in her life. Our very own Ayub Abdir Qadir with more on the memorial held a day before the Queen's state funeral. The United Kingdom High Commissioner Jen Marriott and Provost of the Cathedral, Canon Sami Wainaina, led British High Commission and All Saints Cathedral staff that congregated to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's life, which they said was deeply rooted in Christian beliefs. May God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Commissioner Marriott said Queen Elizabeth will be remembered for speaking openly on many occasions of the strength she gained from her Christian faith and teachings of the Bible during the course of her reign as the Queen. She will be remembered for speaking openly on many occasions of the strength she took from her Christian faith often turning to the teachings of the Bible at difficult moments in her own life and the life of the nation. The congregation of the All Saints Cathedral celebrated the Queen as an embodiment of reason, whose Christian foundation positively touched the lives of millions of people across the world. The service also mentioned the special relationship the Queen had with Kenya, the country she came in as a princess and left a queen. We know how significant Kenya was and remains to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's rule. Queen Elizabeth II made three state visits to Kenya in 1972 when Jomo Kenyatta was our president and in 1979 as well when in 1979 when Moi was our president and later in 1983 still when Moi was our president. You all know the story of treetops, and the image that always remains with me is that of her standing on a bridge with the late Prince Philip in Kenya's Abidares, and it will be forever etched into the relationships of our two countries and of the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II, during her reign as the Supreme Governor of the Church of England, appointed seven archbishops of Canterbury and met four popes during the reign of her tenure. Queen Elizabeth's faith in, God, faith in God was evident in her life and in her utterances. During her reign, she appointed seven archbishops of Canterbury, met with four popes and numerous religious leaders. Members of the public who attended the service also paid tribute to Queen Elizabeth. We condole with the people of the UK, we condole with all the Commonwealth countries and uh, I want to say as uh, King Charles uh, III comes into rule and his reign starts that I pray that he's, and hope that he's going to continue the strategic uh, partnership we've had with the UK. So we are looking forward to enhanced partnership and cooperation with the people of the United Kingdom and we're here to pass condolences to the people of the United Kingdom in the past of the head of state. She came here a princess, went back home a queen, and received by wartime Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill. The congregation this afternoon at the All Saints Cathedral, a reflection of Kenya's affinity and affection for Queen Elizabeth II, who will be interred at St. George's Chapel. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.